A Colorado high school senior is now back in the state after participating in Washington, D.C.'s March for Our Lives rally. Emmy Adams says she's rejuvenated after meeting students from Parkland, Florida, and also meeting with policymakers. Jeff Todd caught up with Emmy today, and Jeff is at Clement Park near Columbine High School, where we will likely see the next rally. There were hundreds of thousands of people there standing together for the thing that I have felt so strongly about and that I have been pouring my heart and soul into trying and make a difference in. Before Emmy Adams took her activism across the country, she first organized this rally in Jefferson County a few weeks ago. On Saturday, she had a sign that caught some people's attention, saying she was from Jeffco and listing the victims of the Columbine shooting. Columbine, sadly, is a household name. Over the past few weeks, she's begun a relationship with Tom Mauser whose son Daniel died in Columbine. He's not a statistic. He was a human being that lost his life in the hands of inaction. She says this sign, that personalized Daniel, resonated with the most people. It makes it easier for people who have not experienced gun violence firsthand to be able to have that personal connection. And today, she took her message to Colorado's delegation. The main things that we think could gain some bipartisan support are the universal background checks, red flag laws, waiting periods, those kind of preventative measures, not necessarily any bans or anything like that. She says her trip to D.C. has only inspired her more. I'm doing everything I can to be on the right side of history. That was Jeff Todd reporting. Many of the kids organizing the next rally weren't even born when the shooting happened at Columbine. But they know they don't want there to be any more memorial parks like the one there. That next rally will be April 19th at Clement Park.